I got to talk about this main event because I got a little bit of a backstory here. Oh, okay. Filthy Tom a while ago, who, by the way, defeated Yano. Wow. If you listen to yesterday's figure four daily, I, I didn't know what was going to happen because Tom never tells me anything. And for all I know, he didn't know either. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we, we spent a long time talking about the Yano match. And uh, as his former partner and a longtime vet, I told him, do not try to wrestle this Olympic caliber wrestler. Okay. You've lost twice. You'll lose again. You need to go in there and you need out Yano. Yano. Mm. And he did. So uh, he could thank me on Monday. But anyway, Tom was talking to me about uh, he had gotten a five-disc set. Yeah. The best of doink. Yes. Okay. So he told me this, and I was like, <laughs> okay, listen, if you want to get a one-disc set, I could maybe buy it, but fucking five discs, the best of doink? I, growing up, like, I just wasn't into this doing thing. He's a fucking clown. But, you know, a lot of time has passed. And, uh, you know, Heath Ledger was a great joker. And I've kind of turned a corner on evil clowns in my older age. And uh, ever since his fucking doing showed up, he's been awesome. And he came out for this match. And, dude, they hit his music in this fucking crowd. Granted, they were a heel crowd because they hated Perfect. But, man, they fucking popped when Doink's music came out. And he comes out, and he's got the music, and he's fucking evil. And he's throwing this sh- confetti and shit around, and they're, you know fans are worried it might be water. And then he gets in the ring and fucking just out-wrestling this guy. And he just looked great. And... I just, this was where I really turned the corner. I'm like, fuck, where have I been this fucking time? I need to get this five-disc set from Filthy Tom. Yes. This fucking doink is awesome. Yes. Like, we've been watching his matches, and I've been impressed. But my memory is that, like, Matt Bourne was only doink for, like, it seems like like two weeks. And then, you know, then it got all shitty and everything like that. But this was the show where it's like, I've been watching this doing for a long time now, and he's still fucking awesome. And it's a great heel gimmick, and he's evil, and he's a fucking clown. And man, I was all, I was all, I was so into this match. And then it ends. And he grabs a bucket that has water in it. He fucking throws that water on Bobby Heenan and it suddenly hit me. I was so excited. And they just fucked me. He's going babyface. This is the end. I don't want to see a babyface doink. <laughs> and I texted Tom immediately. I was like, fuck. I think it's his fault. I said, Jesus, I was this doink's fucking awesome, but they just they just I'm watching the angle where they turn him baby face. And he goes, Yeah, I didn't make it through the rest of the set. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh I'm very sad that right when I was getting really into this doink and excited, they fucking turn him and it's all downhill from here. God damn it. No, he went out on a high note. He came out here and he suplexing this guy like the, the, the circus suplex machine. Just trashing this this poor fella, and uh, eventually pinned him with a whoopee cushion. You know it, it and and as soon as he came out with uh he had he teased throwing water on the fans. It was confetti. He did it twice, and then he picked up that third bucket. I was like, oh no, it's the end. It's the end of cool doink, and that comes lame doink. Yeah, doink doink the original version of doink, and people forget because the the baby face doink was around much longer, probably for the most part. Well, definitely in a, in a higher profile spot. And it was awful. So people remember Doink being awful. But yeah, no, who Doink wants to see great. a fucking babyface evil clown? <laughs> Nobody. Well, Nobody wants to see that. I mean, my AAA, daughters. I guess, yes. But I mean, a murder no clown self-respecting babyface? adult yeah. wants to see a fucking babyface clown. Mm. Want to see a goddamn evil clown. I think part of it also was he came around during a period where they had a lot of shitty gimmicks. You know, mm. we saw Skinner and... You know, I'd, I'd been through the Red Rooster and the Goon and Adam Bomb and uh, whatever that guy's name was on the first Raw, Damien Demento. Uh. So then we had a fucking clown, and I'm like, another fucking shitty gimmick. But he was like, you know, I don't want to compare him too much to uh, Mark Callis, but, bro, no one else could have done this gimmick as good as this guy did. He owned this evil doink. And uh, and like Josiah, Josiah said, he finally... 
Uh, character just starting to work, and bam, they turn him babyface and make him a geek. Yeah. Well, that sucks. I thought the show was fine. I liked it. Mm-hmm. It was weird, uh, but 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 on the whole, it was fine. Uh, by the way, we should also mention that uh, as Doink is in the ring, of course, Doink is the one who. In- oh no, it's Yokozuna injured Crush. Well, Crush calls in. Crush has not been seen uh, since Yokozuna injured him, but Crush is there, brother. Make sure that he's going to be back, uh, bigger and stronger than ever, brother. And Randy Savage says, "Crush, I can't wait to see you. Shock a bra." Crush says, "Is it the Macho Man, Randy Savage?" Man says, "Yes, it is." Click, dial tone. <laughs> so uh, they're claiming technical problems, but Crush does not want to talk to the Macho Man. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Sanga versus Lee stands on Lee's chest when she's down, bangs her uh, her on the apron, pull, um. puts elbow on her chin, through her out of the ring. You know, it doesn't really matter a lot in 2022, Granny, but uh, yeah. Lee, in fact... He identifies as a man. <laughs> Legend a versus woman. Perez. That was another NXT. Can you believe the little guy beat him? He beat Legend. Again, a little I... guy? It's now more... Roxanne Perez is a man? Yeah. Roxanne. <laughs> no. no, these were two women. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, Granny. You gotta be kidding me today. God. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo, and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.